What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. Today we got something a little different. I'm going to show you how you can link up analog equipment like mics, guitars, um, you know, analog synthesizers into FL Studio using ISO and have that ISO audio be linked to other programs like OBS or Discord and whatnot. So, you know, you could do beat tutorials and stuff like that. Because the problem with ASO, ISO technology is um, the way it's made, it doesn't transmit the sound. So if so, let me show you what I'm talking about. In options, audio settings on FL Studio, I have just my audio interface's ASO driver. My audio interface being a Behringer UMC 1820, okay? So when I downloaded the drivers for this audio interface, it gave me this ASO driver, which it makes everything nice. It makes everything that I plug into the interface have really low latency and all that but being um, a youtuber who makes tutorials you know I need to have my audio that's being played in FL Studio being picked up by OBS I'm gonna pull OBS up here right now you can see here as you can see my mic audio is just a USB microphone it's um, a blue Yeti so that's coming through but the problem with this ASO technology is when I hit play on here let me move this around so you can see both of them problem with this technology is when I hit play like on a sample or even pull in one of my inputs the my synthesizer that I'm using here it doesn't pop up as audio it only picks it up in the microphone which is a problem I want them to be separate so you'll see what I'm talking about when I click this audio it's just my microphone picking that up that's a problem, like I said. So I'm going to show you how to fix that using a method that's a little complex, but it's worth it once you understand it, okay? First things you're going to want to obviously do is download your drivers for your audio interface if you haven't done that. Make sure the drivers are up to date and all of that. Make sure FL Studio is up to date. Next thing you're going to want to do is download this program. I'll have the link in the description. It's called ASO Link Pro. Now, there's a big story behind this. Um, essentially the person who made this passed away and there was no more support for the application and a lot of people that use this there is no alternative so they're very um, upset that they couldn't be using this anymore then the man's like nephew uh, hit people up and he's like yo um, I got the code I'm gonna try to come up with a patch so you can um, still use this so that's like the story who knows if that's all true or whatever but that's why you have to download the installer first by hitting download link one and then you got to install the combined GUI patch yeah that's why first you want to download this installer here and that's going to install the program but since there's issues with it it's going to now um, be a hundred percent it's going to be like a trial version but since um, his nephew undertake the project now he's allowing it to be for free of you since he knows how essential this program is so you're going to want to download that and then download the GUI patcher so what you're going to do is install this, you know, just like you would a normal program. Once it's installed, you know, don't change the install path because this GUI patcher is just going to go right into that install path and patch it, all right? So a little bit of a process there, but, you know, kind of simple if you understand. So once you have all of that installed, now you're going to want to go into FL Studio, go into Options, Audio Settings, and then on Device, we're going to choose ASO Link Pro. It's going to pull up something like this, all right? Now, essentially, all you're going to need to really know is these ASO driver ins and ASO host in mixes are just your inputs. So this will be your microphones that are plugged into your audio interface. This will be your guitars that are plugged into your audio interface. This will be your um, analog synthesizers that are plugged in, type shit like that, okay? So keep that in mind. Down here, the ASO driver out mix and this mix out pro or whatever that's just your outputs that's where your speakers your audio is getting linked to okay now there's one two three eight outputs and four sections of those eight outputs essentially this is a mix one this is a mix two this is a mix three and this is a mix four you're going to understand more about that in a second but i don't know why there's eight outputs you know just in case you needed to route them to a, bu a bunch of different places but you know we only got to worry about the one and twos on these, okay? As you can see, there's no driver ins or no host ins showing up. That's because I haven't gone into FL Studio and selected an input, okay? 
So we'll just move this down here. We'll go into FL Studio. Once you have that audio setting, your device as ASO Link, you can go into any mixer track. We'll just go to seven and go up here to the inputs and you'll see a bunch of different inputs. Now, this is very crucial that you get this correct. You have to choose the input that whatever your device is plugged into. So if your mic is plugged into input one, you're gonna choose in one. If your uh, guitar is plugged into input one and two, acting as stereo, you would do in one and two. Now for this case, for me, I have a DS88 plugged into input three and four as stereo. So I'd go up into here and choose input three and four. Now you'll see on the ASO link, once you do that, the inputs show up now. Now we just want to link this three to this three by dragging and clicking and link this four to this four, just like that. Now you're gonna be able to hear this because my microphone's gonna pick it up, but it's not actually going through the desktop audio, but I'll be able to play my DS88 and you'll be able to hear it showing up here. Well, you'll be able to hear it and seeing it. You're only hearing it because my mic's picking it up though. So if I open up FL Studio, you can see that this tab right here is just gonna be picking it up, not this audio tab up here. And that's my problem, you know, I want that stuff to be separate. So what we're going to do to make it separate is on the ASO, let me minimize OBS, on the ASO, host and mix, we're gonna to wanna to route this to an output but we don't want it to be output one. We want it to be an output two, which will be this second block of um, eight outputs here. So this three, we're gonna route to the one there acting as left. And then this four, we're gonna route to that two acting as right. Okay, once you do that, that's going to send your audio, just the, the input audio, which in this case is my piano, to a mix two which acts as a new input in the overall um, inputs that are on your computer. It's a little confusing, I know, but just follow these steps, you know, do them a couple times and it'll make a little bit more sense. I, I've just researched all this shit today. Like I've had to watch so many different videos to, you know, try to compile this and fix this problem. But I know there are many other people out there that are having these issues. So just bear with me. We're going to solve this together. Okay. Once you have those out there, we're going to move to, OBS. Now, in OBS, your normal main stuff that you normally got in here is, you know, desktop audio and a mic, right? That's just like the main things you will have in this audio mixer. Well, with this process, we're not even worrying about the desktop audio. I have it muted here, and we're just going to hide it. We don't want it to get in the way because, as we've already stated, the audio is not even going through the desktop audio, so it, it doesn't matter. What we're going to want to do is add in another source over here. You can click the plus and add in a audio input capture. Okay, you would hit okay, add that in, name it whatever you want. And then this device is going to be your mix two. All right, so when you click this, you should see a bunch of stuff, but you should see a mix one and a mix two. That's what these things are that I was talking about earlier. This is the mix one, this is the mix two. See, we have our DS88 or your mic or your guitar, whatever it is, your inputs going to that mix two. So when I select that, OBS will be receiving that audio through there and it will be separate. So now when I hit play, you see it's coming through that audio input capture. It's also coming in up here because I've already done this process. So I am just gonna delete this. Now, there is a problem when you have this. When we look at this, you see our desktop audio is going to mix one. Mix one is just acting as my normal microphone in this case. So we don't want this audio going to mix one because then it's just going to be doing the same problem that we had before. It's just gonna be only showing up in this microphone. So here we're going to uncheck these lines by you know kind of hovering over the bottom until it highlights it. Left click it to remove it. Do that for both. And we're just gonna drag this one to this one as well, and this two to this two as well. So that way, we'll just bring this down here. We can actually close this for right now. That way, you organize this. Whenever I play samples and like drums and stuff in FL Studio, 
now it's also being routed to this audio. You'll see here. But as you can see, it's a tedious process for something that should be simple, but unfortunately with ISO, ASO technology, it kind of makes things a little complex. So I hope this video did bring you value. If you got questions, please ask them down below. And um, yeah, I really hope I did help you guys because I do know this was a huge headache for me and it's just really dope to be able to finally solve this. So yeah, once again, if it did bring you value, please leave a like, hit subscribe, hit that little bell. Got much more content on the way. But until next time, everybody, make sure you stay safe, stay striving, and always be getting it. Peace.